So while the world is social distancing, people are turning online to find connection more than ever before. They really are. But not everything is what it seems as the crew at Catfish, the TV show knows all too well. Take a look. Rolling here. Catfish is all new. We are back. And you've never seen it like this. Did you think this whole quarantine was going to stop us? Because these all virtual episodes. We're going to make an entire episode of Catfish remotely. Are wilder than ever. He lost his virginity at a Justin Bieber concert. Oh! Whoa. He says he'll join. Oh my God. Wait. Are you serious right now? Because even catfish work from home. And host Neve and Cammy are here with me now. Guys, welcome. It's so good to have you here. I love talking to you guys about this show because you're so passionate and committed and compassionate with the people. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, okay. So Neve, let me start with you. This show is virtual because of everything that's going on. First time you all have done it this way. How has that been for you guys? It was a little tricky at first. Yeah. You know, obviously so much of what I think makes the show feel important and relevant and meaningful is that we're taking a virtual relationship and we're bringing it into the sort of physical real world space. Yeah. So removing that element obviously changed the formula. But at the same time, what we realized is the whole reason that these relationships exist to begin with is because for whatever reason, two people who have met online have yet to video chat. It's a different path for the show to take, but it, it still ends at a very meaningful moment when you know, you, you finally get this person to do what you've hoped that they would have done for months or years before, which is just show their face. One of the things, myself included, that people love about this show is like when you guys just kind of show up and you, you know, people kind of like have to make that decision when you show up on their doorstep. But for this, people actually have to make the decision to either log on and, and you know, and talk to you guys or not. How, how did that play into things? I mean, it's a little bit different. I think that, you know, longtime fans of the show do enjoy that part of us, you know, running up and being like, come outside. Um, but I think that it's just as suspenseful with the virtual episodes because of the fact that, you know, we're sending out our meeting ID to a bunch of different people and you never know who's going to pop in and say what. It could be that, you know, they got it from somebody else who got it from somebody else who knows something. And it's it's just as exciting or it could be the catfish themselves. So, you know... I think that there are definitely people who are like, I think the virtual episode could give the catfish a pass, but it really doesn't because you're actually seeing them in their natural habitat, so to speak. Like you're seeing them in their home. Yeah. Um, I think that there's something super vulnerable about that. Has anyone hung up? I mean, cause okay, let's say they make the decision to be there. They're also in <laughs> control of when they can like check out if they don't like the way things are going. Um, I've hung up. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I have hung up because I didn't like the way things were going. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the situations get a little heated. And with this particular person, right. they were very misogynistic, didn't want to talk to me, didn't want anything to do with me. And they were so rude. I was like, Poop. we're still filming the season, but it hasn't happened yet where right. someone has been like, I don't want to do this anymore, we've, goodbye. We've had a lot of this. We've had a lot of like yeah. this. <laughs> and, and then like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> I love happened. that. But I, I also do, one of the things that I appreciate about this show more than anything is how you all treat the people who are being victimized, right? The people that are being catfished and how you all don't, put them in a position to be made fun of. You just make it seem like, listen, this is something that could happen to so many people. Yeah. And I love that from the beginning, that's really been the way the show is supposed to be, right? Yeah, I mean, I have to always remind myself that I, it happened to me. And I was just as gullible and naive and foolish. And people told me, I can't believe that that happened. So, you know, I, I, I've been through it. But also I think, and especially now, we can all relate that much more to people who are isolated who are, you know, home a lot, who don't have access to things that are fun and cultural experiences and may not live in big cities. And, and so I think we all now better understand the significance of, of making a digital online connection with someone when that might be all that you have. Well, I want to let everybody know that you can catch Catfish Wednesdays at 8 p.m. on MTV and catch up on demand. Guys, thank you so much. And I'm glank glad you. you're doing well. Thank, thank you. you.